Want a new job? One that pays better? The Inquisition can always use a good mercenary company. You hiring? I'm game. Anything's better than this bullshit. You want me to talk to the Empress, or the court, or sing a blasted song in a chantry? I'll do it.
the Maker your back, the Empress will begin her speech soon. What should we do? Wait here, Cullen. I'm going to have a word with the Grand Duchess. What? There's no time. The Empress will begin her speech any moment. The eyes of every noble in the Empire are upon us, Your Grace. Remember to smile. This is your party. You wouldn't want them to think you had lost control. Who would not be delighted to speak with you, Inquisitor? I seem to recall you saying, all I needed was to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. When your archers failed to kill me in the garden, I feared you wouldn't save me this last dance. It's so easy to lose your good graces. You even framed your brother for the murder of a council emissary. It was an ambitious plan. Celine, Gaspard, the entire council of heralds, all your enemies under one roof. This is very entertaining. But you do not imagine anyone believes your wild stories. That will be a matter for a judge to decide, cousin. Gaspard? You cannot believe this. You know I would never... Gaspard? You lost this fight ages ago, Your Grace. You're just the last to find out. <laughs> Your Imperial Majesty, I think we should speak in private. Elsewhere. Your sister attempted regicide in front of the entire court, Gaspard. You're the spy master. If anyone knew this atrocity was coming, it was you. You don't deny your involvement. I do deny it. I knew nothing of Florian's plans. But you... You knew it all and did nothing. <laughs> I don't know which is better. That you think I'm all-seeing? Or that you're trying so hard to play innocent? And failing? Enough! We will not bicker while Tevinter plots against our nation. For the safety of the Empire, I will have answers. Every one of you is implicated. You all conspired to allow this to happen. That's a bold claim, Inquisitor. Are you prepared to defend it? You allowed the Grand Duke to sneak soldiers in, hoping he'd make a politically foolish move. That's duplicitous, even for you, Celine. You took the bait. I met your mercenary captain, Your Grace. He says you are ready to attack tonight. Clever move. If you were trying to get hanged for treason. And Briala was playing both of you. She murdered your ambassadors and sent you each forged letters. Even if I did, you can't touch me. No one will defend you once it's revealed that you and Selene were lovers when she burned Halam Shiral's alienage. You've made your point. What do you want? You are three of the best minds in the Empire. You could do so much for Orlea and your people if you stopped fighting. It is remarkably... optimistic to believe that the three of us could ever forget our differences, Inquisitor. I cannot believe you want to make a speech. This is foolish. We have no choice. The nobility requires an answer for what happened. <laughs> Unless you want to pretend the war was all a dream. That would go over well. No more dithering. We make the cut swift and clean. Kindest to all of us. Lords and ladies of the court, we are pleased to announce that an accord has been reached. 
Our cousin Gaspar will now hold a place of honor in our cabinet. <laughs> Friends, we assembled are the leaders of the empire. We must set the example for all Thedas. We cannot be at war with each other while the Fade itself challenges our borders. We must stand united or surely we will fall alone. We will save Thetis from calamity, but only together may we accomplish this. We will heal our wounded country. A long road of reconstruction lies before us. But tonight, we celebrate the arrival of peace. Let the festivities commence! <laughs> The Orlesian nobility make drunken toasts to your victory, and yet you are not present to hear them. Do you tire so quickly of their congratulations, Inquisitor? It is most fickle, after all your efforts on their behalf. Everyone suddenly wants to talk to me. You, at least, I'm glad to see. <laughs> then I have happy news, as you shall be seeing a great deal more of me. By Imperial Decree, I have been named Liaison to the Inquisition. Selene wishes to offer you any and all aid, including mine. Congratulations. I had no idea you were interested in joining the Inquisition. The assignment has been given to me, regardless of my personal interest. Selene knows you face an opponent who wields great magical power, which is far more important than her own curiosity. You will require my knowledge if you are to defeat such magic. Regardless, Corypheus is a threat to Orle and to myself. Thus, I am not opposed to the appointment. What skills do you have that would benefit us? I have knowledge which falls beyond the realm of most mages. I suspect this is also true of Corypheus, Thus, it behooves you to add to your arcane arsenal, yes? Mundane knowledge will not bring the rift in the sky to a close, after all. When you say knowledge beyond the realm of most mages, do you mean blood magic? I know many obscure, forgotten, and forbidden arts. Some of it you might consider blood magic, yes? Should thought of that frighten you, allow me to offer reassurance. Knowledge alone does no harm. What I possess, I place at your disposal to make use of or ignore as you desire. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morrigan. A most gracious response. I shall meet you at Skyhold. Is everything all right? You look troubled. I'm just worn out. The night has been... very long. It was a tumultuous evening, but... Orle is safe now. It was worth the struggle. Is there anything I can do? Um, can I get you anything? A drink, perhaps? Would you care to dance with me, Lady Josephine? I was hoping you'd ask, my lord. The matter is urgent, Lady Josephine. I am well aware of that, revered mother. We will need them to return to Valroyo as soon as possible. There are ceremonies, ordinations. Make us mercy. That's quite impossible at the moment. However, I will see to this matter as soon as possible. My Lord Inquisitor. Please, may I have a word with you? How may I assist you, revered mother? With the political turmoil put to rest, 
Our minds turn to a single question. The next divine. We cannot answer it without the left and right hands of divine Justinia V. I have already told you, revered mother. Lady Leliana and Sikar Cassandra cannot be spared from their duties. But surely with the support of the Empire, the Inquisition will not be harmed by the loss of just two souls. Why do you need Liliana and Cassandra? They were Her Holiness's most trusted advisors. They represent her legacy, her hopes for peace in Fadas. They could rally the Grand Clerics to follow as no candidate from the clergy has been able to. Are the Grand Clerics truly unable to elect a divine? Everyone with the political support to succeed Justinia perished alongside her. Those who remain are unable to gather the majority of votes from the conclave of Grand Clerics. They have been deadlocked for too long. Lady Liliana and Seeker Cassandra were Justinia's most trusted friends and advisors. Our late divine is still held in high esteem. To honor her, the Grand Clerics might support one of them as successor. How long does the Chantry need them? Several months, at least. If one of them is crowned divine, she would not be returning to the Inquisition. Liliana and Cassandra would have to make that decision for themselves. And they certainly will, at a later date. The Inquisitor has only just returned and has important business to attend to. You must excuse us, revered mother. Don't let them detract from your victory at Alam Shiral. We've beaten his wardens and stopped his intrigues. Soon, Corypheus will have no place to hide. Colin is hoping to press our advantage. We'll plan our next attack when you're ready. I need to have a few words with my publisher. The first one will be you, and the second one will be bastard. They've claimed for years my crime serials don't sell in Orlais. So why is the Council of Heralds asking me for autographs? Sorry, distracted. Anyway, you need something? Carry on. There are spirits hovering by the veil to observe the thrones of powerful nations, the machinations, the betrayals. After our time in Halam Shiral, I understand why. I had forgotten how I missed court intrigue. I'm pleased you had a good time. Political gambits, broken promises, half-truths. It is a palace full of motivation, and motivation is where great things happen. In any event, Selene should now be a steadfast ally. Especially after helping her neutralize Briala. I hope you know that I didn't turn over Briala lightly. If I'd had another option... What? Why would I disapprove of... Oh, because we're both elves. I'm sorry, I was confused. I do not consider myself to have much in common with the elves. Nor should you. You're not defined by the shape of your ears. They're not your people. No, they are not. I joined the Inquisition to save the world. Regardless of who my people are, this was the best way to help them. As for the Elves of Orlais, I believe Briala is doing quite well on their behalf. She is an admirable woman. She's done good work. Hopefully with our help, she can help them even more. Yes. However much I identify or Failed to identify with her people. Riala's efforts have been remarkable. She organized resistance against a powerful enemy, using only her wits and the resources at hand. That demands respect, especially in a world where most would look at her and only see a pair of pointed ears. Marvelous.
serious business, the Winter Palace. You saved an empress, and now she's eating out of your hand. Perfect mental image. All this dancing, politics, and murder... <sighs> ...makes me a bit homesick. That's something you actually miss? Who wouldn't? All the drama, the scandal, the petty maneuverings. Back home, we engage in social affairs with the grim intensity of war. When blood is spilled, the battle is won. Less fun when you're the target, but to watch. My. Yes. I hope you tried the ham they were serving, by the way. Tasted of despair. It's fascinating. I'd like to ask you about Tevinter. Popular topic. Anything specific? Corypheus is a figure out of Tevinter history. He was a magister. Yes, but that was a different time. The Imperium's power was at its peak then. The Civil War had ended. The Magisterium was united, its armies scooping up bits of Thedas like candy. The Magisters who entered the Black City. It was a demonstration of how exceptional Tevinter had become. But who were they? No one knows. There's no record of a Magister named Corypheus. All this happened 1400 years ago, before the Blight nearly wiped us out. There are no records. Today, people half believe it's all just a story. And that's what I believe. We have evidence the story is very much real. But not who Corypheus is. If he even remembers. There used to be families who claimed some of those magisters as their own. That stopped when the Chantry appeared. Then it was shameful, and the families distanced themselves from the tale. All we know is that some men and women entered the Black City looking for the old gods. What did they find? According to Corypheus, nothing. And only he could tell us more. That's all I wanted to know. Fair enough. I should go. Try not to kill anyone without me. Here is the request Harris made. Please have him note what specific need he is <laughs> There is no problem. I am merely confused by the list. So it's true. Some look to Cassandra or even me as Justinia's successor. I never thought the idea would gain momentum. Of course, with the other candidates out of the picture... Is becoming divine something you really want? <laughs> when Justinia was alive, I would have laughed at anyone who even suggested that I could be her successor. Things have changed. Still, I don't know. Restoring the Chantry will be like trying to steer a sinking vessel through a storm. Whoever becomes divine will have my support if she requires it. And I'm sure whoever becomes divine will absolutely require the Inquisition's backing. The Chantry is faltering, but it still has influence over the people. Who tells the people what's right? Who do they look to in times of peril? A divine with enough support can change the Chantry. And with it, Thedas. But this is a discussion for later. If Corypheus wins, finding a new divine will be the least of our problems. I'd be perfectly happy never again setting foot in the Winter Palace. It wasn't the gossip and backstabbing, I know what the game entails, but the indifference to it all. I didn't care for it myself. I shouldn't be surprised. The Chantry can be the same. Their politics are less extravagant, but just as heated. Celine and Gaspard rule a country. The Divine influences half a continent. Is there anything I should know? Sarah brought me a piece of cake. She thought I looked hungry. Why are you telling me this? Because it was either an act of kindness or a trap. I was hoping you knew which. That's all for now. Should you require anything, I'll be here. Strangest thing. When I reached out, my dagger was gone. Just gone. 
Know where I found it? In a barrel. The thing was filled to the brim with daggers. Got the strangest feeling. I know someone took it right off my belt, but I can't recall who. I didn't understand the Grand Ball. It would have been easier if they said what they wanted. What did you think of the masks? What masks? The masks. Everyone had them on their faces. Those weren't their faces. I'd like to talk with you about Templars. They're heavy with forgotten songs, like Varric. Some of them are too loud. It's hard to stay near them. Cullen is softer, but demons asked questions that hurt him. Evangeline was kinder. I want to explain, but I... Reese's mother spoke to spirits, but not to him. Then she died for a Templar he loved. Words just bounce off the edges. Can you tell me more about how the Red Templars are different? The Red Lyrium is different, darker. Daggers under the skin. It eats you inside until you're nothing. They hear a different song. The song behind the door old whispers want opened. They are dead and dark and done. What's your general opinion of Templars? Some like hurting mages. It makes them happy. Or less afraid. Or... Dreams again. Woke up shaking, stalking the ground for one who looks like her. Always some rule being broken. But... Not all Templars listen when whispers crawl around inside them. They try to protect people, like Cullen. The good ones remember that mages are people. Can you tell me more about how the Templars feel to you? They feel older than they look. They've been changed, and their bodies are incomplete now. The Lyrium helps, but their bodies always want to connect to something older, bigger than they are. That's why they block magic. They reach for that other thing, and magic has no room to come in. Like when I listen to Varric. I'll talk to you later. Yes. Could be better. Good to see you. Of course. One for the Empress. For Gaspar. Briana. The Duchess. And Corinthus. Right in the dangle bag. Well, remind me to stay on your good side. Don't worry, you're sparkling compared to that lot. A cook here, a footman there. What's it matter, right, so long as there's a butt for the throne? A pretty one, sure. But how many lives are worth one empress's arse? Ugh, that place. Should have just thrown in some bees and slammed the doors. I don't know. You want to stop a party, I think you go earwigs. <laughs> I hate those things, with their little pinchy butts. Josephine should add that to her paper threats. <laughs> you know the real lesson from all this? Never sleep with an empress. That, and Briala being an idiot, the whole thing would have gone different if that little piss-up wasn't in the middle. That was a mistake on their part. It made everything worse. Wrong way around, Inquisitor. It started worse. Lots of people died before there was a hole in the sky. That's who you're saving. If you get a chance, maybe remind them not to be idiots. You know I've got no problem with Orlesians, but Halam Sharal was a mess. At least under the Cune, you don't get everyone tripping on each other's dicks while the country goes to crap. I hate politics. You've got a crappy job then, boss.
wants what? I don't know. I just bought the message. Well, take this one back. No. No. Possibly in a month. No. Yes, Sarah. Of course. Wait. Oh, my maker. You cannot imagine how many letters I've received about the fracar at Halam Shirel. Fortunately, you tied twice as many threads as cut. Although it is yet bewildering at the center. There are problems coming out of Halam Shirel? There are always problems from Halam Shirel. We've lost a few contracts, but more than made up for it. Although, if a few commendations were given, it might retie some severed threads. I couldn't suggest how. That is better decided at your war table, and I'm not going near that thing. As you were. We are here for you, Inquisitor. It's good to see you. Will you not consider it, Lady Cassandra? The clerics are still sequestered. If no one steps forward, they will debate until... And you think I could make them agree? I've heard enough for one day, Mother Giselle. Talk to her, your worship. The fun never ends in Skyhold, does it? The Inquisitor was hilarious. That's what they'll say one day, you watch. I assume you've heard that Leliana and I are both candidates to be the next Divine. Because of what happened at Halam Shiral, of course, the Empire favors you. Thus, everyone close to you. So now the Chantry bandies our names about without even asking us first. How can you and Liliana be candidates? You're not even priests. It's not without precedent. Amar III was sister to the Emperor, and Galatea a commoner. Liliana and I were, at least, part of the Chantry hierarchy. It would be accepted. I think you'd make an excellent divine. Truly? I never look good in hats. Surely it was never meant to be like this. The Chantry, the Circle of Magi, the Templars... This cannot be what they intended when it all began. The Chantry should provide faith, hope. Instead, it cannot veer from its course, even in the face of certain death. I'm surprised to hear you, of all people, say that. Oh? Am I not the same woman who declared the Inquisition against the Chantry's wishes? In all my years as a Seeker, I did what I was told. My faith demanded it. But now my faith demands something else. That I see with better eyes. If you're concerned, then make it better. Did you know Varric is Andrastian? Oh, he blasphemes with every second breath, but deep down he believes. His heart is virtuous. But he would never step foot in a Chantry. It should be the first place to which the virtuous turn. It needs to change. Perhaps I must be the one to change it. You're not the only candidate. What about Liliana? Liliana says she wishes to follow Justinia's legacy. But she and I remember a different person. Justinia knew her fellow clerics and the people would only accept so much change. Liliana would cast it all aside and start over, I think. And that would be chaos for us all. What would you change about the Chantry? The Circle of Magi has its place, but it needs reform. Let the mages govern themselves with our help. Let the Templars stand not as the jailers of mages, but as protectors of the innocent. We must be vigilant, but we must also be compassionate to all peoples of Thedas, human or no. That is what I would change. We have more important things to worry about right now. One day we must turn our thoughts to what comes after. But that's not today. I suppose that is true. I suppose I should not be so concerned. The clerics speak my name for now, nothing more. 
For now, restoring order and stopping Corypheus remain our priority. Good to know we're doing something worthwhile. Maker and lazy. Corypheus is taking a lot of them apart. The Inquisition can't appeal. That means they can't be Want a drink? I've a hankering for company. When I was a boy, there were these urchins who roamed the streets near my father's house. One day they found a dog, a wretched little thing. It came to them for food. They caught it, tied a rope around its neck, and strung it up. Do you know what I did? You stopped them? Cut the dog down? I did nothing. Not a damn thing. It was crying. I saw the kicking legs. The neck straining and twisting, and I turned around, went inside, and closed the door. I could have told my father, or alerted someone. I didn't. I just pretended it wasn't happening. You said you were just a boy. I was old enough to know the dog was suffering and that it was wrong. I may as well have tied the noose myself. We could make the world better. It's just easier to shut our eyes. Nothing worth doing is easy. <laughs> Look at you. You would have done the right thing. We're lucky there are people like you in the world. There's always some dog out there. Some fucking mongrel that doesn't know how to stay away. Worship. Where are you? How bracing to be in the thick of the game again. The last time I was at Alam Shiral was Countess Letien's wedding. 
There were a dozen affairs, five secret alliances, and a duel between two chevaliers over the vintage of an Antivan port. But until the Duchess was unmasked, I've never seen the Winter Palace in shock. You don't see the Empress of Orlais almost killed in cold blood every day. Not so brazenly, no. The game's become increasingly insular in the past few years. Corypheus skillfully took advantage. It's disturbing so few people in the Orlesian court were aware of the Duchess's machinations. The Empress realized she was in danger. She's always in danger. Those loyal to her should have practiced more vigilance. But let's not lose sight of victory. Your actions at the ball have secured us allies and favors alike. My favorite moment of the evening is still our waltz in the garden. <sighs> I could have danced with you for hours. We must do it again sometime. Inquisitor, I wonder if you might help me with a delicate situation. There is an alchemical formula that I must complete, but I have been unable to obtain a critical ingredient. The heart of a snowy wyvern. I had arranged to obtain one, but the chevaliers working with me were killed in the Civil War. If I'm going to hunt down a snowy wyvern, I need you to tell me everything you know about it. They're quite rare and exceedingly dangerous. Their venom is the most potent of any wyvern. Ordinary hunters would not make the attempt. The risk is too great. You, my dear, would certainly be an equal to this monster. I didn't know you were an alchemist, Vivienne. What exactly is this project you're working on? It is a special request from a member of the Council of Heralds. I am still the Imperial Court Enchanter, after all. The matter is private. That is all there is to say. I'm not a hunter. Why do you think I can help? This beast is not hunted for sport, as other women sometimes are. It is far more deadly. In the past, chevaliers have been dispatched to either kill the creatures or drive them away from villages. Since my chevaliers have fallen to political conflict, I find myself in need of someone with a martial aptitude. I'll do what I can. Thank you, my dear. I would be most grateful. I shall give the location of its lair to Cullen. Remember, my dear, I must have its heart or the potion will not work. I eagerly await your success. tales of this. Each regression. What is this potion for? That's the lot. Strange bit of kid for important. As there is but one world, one life, one death, there is but one world, and he is our nation. Your worship. Can you tell me how our people are doing? What would you like to know? Do you have information on people elsewhere? You have done much for the refugees in the hinterlands. Many who would have starved or frozen all you their lives. With the rift near Crestwood sealed, the villagers have begun rebuilding their homes and lives. The people in the hills of Ompris de Lyon are safe again, thanks to you. They may even plant crops this season. More than that I cannot say. It is a chaotic time for all in Olay and Ferelden. How are our forces at Skyhold doing? We have many injured. The siege of Adamant was brutal for all involved. Even so, more flock to your banner. They have heard that the Inquisition defeated the legendary Grey Wardens. Your soldiers have been blooded, Inquisitor. They are veterans now, an army in more than just name. Farewell, revered mother. Make her go with you.
You're the Inquisitor. I thought you'd be scarier. Mother said you were scary. Why would your mother say such a thing? Because people fear the next stage if it comes too soon. Kieran, are you bothering the Inquisitor? Of course not. Did you see what's on his hand, Mother? I did see. It is time to return to your studies, little man. Hmm. <laughs> My son. Never where you expect him to be, naturally. I didn't know you had a son. Why would you? I take great pains to not let my own reputation affect him in any way. To most in the Imperial Court, he's simply a quiet and well-spoken lad. Perhaps the heir of some distant family. But he goes where I go. Worry not, Inquisitor. Kieran is a curious boy, but seldom troublesome. Will his father be joining us as well? It would be... most unlikely. I have raised Kieran on my own for quite some time now, as was my preference from the start. So, tis but the two of us, Inquisitor. Your fortress is a large place, and you will scarce notice our presence. He seems like a fine young man. But not the sort one might expect a woman like me to raise. No son of mine would be raised in a marsh, bereft of contact with the outside world. His future will be difficult enough without my adding to his burden. To think, until recently, this place stood decrepit, occupied only by the desperate and the lost. Now it is party to events that threaten to shake the world. I wonder if it is pleased. It sounds like you've heard of Skyhold before. This fortress was built upon the remains of a site holy to the ancient elves. They called it Tarar Salan, the place where the sky is kept. It is said that from here, they reached up to the heavens to bring them down to rest. They abandoned it, as did the humans who came after them. Bones laid upon bones, silent until your arrival. I like this place. I've made it mine. The magic in this place has seeped into the stones, protecting it from darkness. Those who let it fall to ruin did not know what they possessed. You, I think, shall do it justice. You were kind to welcome my aid, Inquisitor, even knowing as little of me as you do. I will do my best to aid your cause with all the knowledge at my disposal. This I swear to you. I appreciate whatever help you can give us. Some might think Corypheus a madman for seeking godhood. Yet one must ask, what were the old gods? What secrets of theirs did the ancient magisters know? What I fear, what all should fear, is not that Corypheus believes he can succeed, it is that he actually may. I do not believe a reminder is necessary for this accused. Her capture and disgrace could not have been more public. Grand Duchess Florian de Chalon, although her titles are among the dignities already at risk of forfeiture. You spared her life despite her treachery. What becomes of it now falls to you. The consequences of our dance continue to echo, Lady Florian. Uh. Despite her posture, Lady Florian has acknowledged your authority. Should I curse you on behalf of the Elder One? I realize he had no intention of honoring the Concordats I manipulated. 
Do as you must. I respect your mastery of the game, even as I despise your victory. Celine does not know her fortune. She respects only the shallow demands of court. She must seek higher purpose. Florian de Chalon, you will be cloistered within the Chantry. Boredom, your worship. The sentence you have imposed is boredom. It's time to plan our next attack. What's the state of the Inquisition? Our alliance with Orle holds, for the present. They'll send aid on request. And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. With Orle's support, our numbers match his. Corypheus's followers must be panicking. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. Perhaps they'll rethink following the Darkspawn Magister from the dawn of time. Where is Corypheus now? After you dealt with the Duchess, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds. He's moving south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. Our victories have them on the defensive. They've terrorized Thetis long enough. We end them now. If Corypheus is hiding in the Arbor Wilds, that's where we'll go. But what is Corypheus doing in such a remote area? His people have been ransacking elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. Which should surprise no one. Fortunately, I can assist. You have my attention, Lady Morrigan. What Corypheus seeks in those Forgotten Woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. Which is? His best, if I show you. This is an Illuvian, an elven artifact from a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks. It's beautiful in its way. I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds, untouched. It proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my prize. If Corypheus has turned southward, he could succeed where I failed. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? A more appropriate question would be, where does it lead? If this place once had a name, it has long been lost. I call it the Crossroads. 
A place where all Illuvians join, wherever they might be. Is this place dangerous? It feels... Unnatural, yes. We are, however, in no immediate peril. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they traveled between them. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark, broken, corrupted, or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but only a few. How did you find out about this place? My travels have led me to many strange destinations, Inquisitor. Once, they led me here. It offered sanctuary. Sanctuary? Not all the mirrors lead back to our world. The ancients were nothing if not... resourceful. If they don't lead back to our world, then... Places... between, like... This one, I can describe it no better. For a time, I had a safe place to raise my son. But only for a time. One cannot remain in between forever. What do you mean, a few can be opened from this side? Some of the Illuvians have been left unlocked, like doors accidentally left ajar. All others are closed. They can be opened only from beyond. Opened how? With a key. I suppose you have such a key? The key can be many things. Each Alluvian is different. I have knowledge as well as power. Often that is enough. Corypheus wants to come here? This is not the Fade. But it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient barriers. ...and enter the Fade in the flesh, like Corypheus wanted to do with the Anchor. He learned of the Illuvian in the Arbor Wilds, as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it. You have made Corypheus desperate, Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon.